Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Bob Vapes. Thanks again for joining me today. Oh uh, yeah, it's been it's been quite tough to keep uploading the videos at the moment. Um I've been really, really busy uh with the shop and everything. And also I'm a big football fan and yeah, it's World Cup fever time at the moment as well. So yeah, I've been either doing work, uh, spending time with the family and trying to get, catch as many games as I can as well. So very, very sort of uh, hectic at the moment. But yeah, so um, the other day in the BBC, there was a piece on uh, vape shops and that um, all about the the vape shop boom. And they reckon obviously the bubble is about to burst. So yeah, I'll I'll talk about that all in a couple of minutes time uh well my thoughts anyway uh thought to show you again what i've been vaping well no surprises i am on a and i am on the custard but um i've deliberately not reordered my own sort of personal stash of the custard um because I mean, that's all I ever vape, but I feel like I just need to take a break from it, you know? I, I want to try and, like, have a different uh, flavour profile for a little bit. And uh, one juice that I brought in that I've really took took to is, yeah, Zeus Juice Rhubarb and Custard. Um, I like, recently got this in, like, what, two, three days ago? And, yeah, oh, God, it's it's good. Absolutely just I mean, a lot of the rhubarb and custards are very much like the boiled sweet. This one um, is still like the sweet, but I'd say a little bit more on the creamy side. So almost borderline on the dessert. So that's, I, th I think, why I tend to really, really like it as well. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you, but we got in um, some more. So we got like Phoenix Tears, uh, Death by Bunny, Atlantis. So, you know, we're starting to build them up got like a nice selection of all their all their 10 mils um seems to be doing really really well <clears throat> um i got the rage squonkin as well um i would really really like it myself but i can't justify um uh spending it some extra cash at the moment my my missus will kill me i'm sure a lot of you uh, uh can relate to stuff like that where you know, you need to rein in the old cash, um, for, but you see something really, really shiny that you really want. But that's definitely something that um, I'm in the process of uh, looking into getting myself. But I do stock it um, because, yeah, I'm thinking when I when I get this again, my Custard Dynasty, that'd be perfect. I have a squonk uh, for that. Um, oh, yeah. Also, I broke my little uh, cuboid. Um, so I got myself the little Wisemech P80. Nice little device, a uh, little obviously 80 watt. Um, but I have it for like my uh, mouth to lung. Uh, so my more. Oh my god, my word! See, I'm I haven't done this for a while, so yeah, you'll have to bear with me. But yeah, mouth to lung. So you know, obviously the more discreet type vaping when I'm out and about, when I'm in the pub, that type of thing. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use it for because it's really nice and small, as you can see. Um, you know, completely gone in my hand there. Um, nice side firer, uh, single eight in six fifty. Um, so the battery life at thirteen watts. It's going to be plentiful. You know, that's all I need and. Uh, in that, yes, Zeus juice, and it's the black, uh, black crack, but yeah, it's lovely. Uh, 12 milligram, so you know, as I say, if I'm going out, watch it like watching the England game, this was a godsend. 12 milligrams, that they're like stressing all good stuff. So, yeah, uh, BBC, as I say. Uh, they ran a piece and it was all about like how many vape shops there are and the competition and everything. I think they touched on um, uh, Kettering, if I, uh, my memory serves me correctly. And they were talking about, you know, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a relatively small town. Uh, you know, it has the usual sort of shops and that there. But then it had six vape shops as well. And that tends to be the uh, general trend in like most places. Um you know, I mean, what's it like for you? You know, comment below 
how many uh, vape shops do you, does your town or city currently have? I know Peterborough, I think on last count, uh, Peterborough had about 15, 16 different vape shops. And uh, just recently, uh, where I live, so I live in like a council estate, uh, around the corner there's uh, like a post office, a chippy, and like a Nisa or something like that. And someone's opened up a vape shop there. So they are literally popping up everywhere. And um, I'll have to agree with the BBC. This bubble is going to have to burst. It's There, there, there is just too many vape shops. Um, even though there are so many more uh, vapors to you know to, to grab or sorry potential people to grab into the vaping market i think there's still like six and a half seven million uh smokers out there but you know to have say six vape shops in kettering uh 18 vape shops in peterborough it's just the profit margins are not there you know i i'm in a you know a little town called louth and um, you know, I opened up here and there was already one vape shop here. So I am the second. And, you know, that in itself, you know, is it's tight competition. It's, you know, for, for a small town and that, that's two vape shops. Um, you know, that does does Lauf need two vape shops? You know, will, will it ever need it? So, you know, only time will tell at the moment. You know, we, you know, we seem to be doing all right. But, you know, I'm not buying a a Porsche anytime soon or anything like that that's for sure um, so you know we're running a running a tight ship here uh, keeping it going and um, yeah well actually I'll, I'll sort of you know go on that a little bit more because yeah as I say um, a lot of these shops um, they tend to be opening up and they're going to be starting offering like you know really really cheap cheap juices and cheap cheap hardware cheap cheap coils and and stuff like that and um, what they're basically saying in in the uh, in the BBC piece was um, profit margins are going to be so small that way, you know, with all the competition, with everyone trying to beat everyone on on the prices and you know things like that. And then obviously you've got online, so you know it's just it's going to make it harder and harder for anyone to actually make any sort of living out of you know owning a vape shop or having a vape shop. Um, and you know these will ine inevitably close in time because they'll find that because it is tough it's really really tough running y your store and you know trying to balance all the books all the time and you know looking at all the latest trends and trying to make sure you stay you know with like stock and demand and you know all that stuff with running a business it's very very difficult um, so uh, for, for these people you know with that and if they're not really getting much back in return and uh, you know they're, they're going to tend to find that they'll have to close and then some as well will just close because they've been driven out so you know maybe they they were the first ones there and you know they had a a bit more of a markup on their products and um, to keep them going and you know to, to make sure it's a profitable business but now there's a load of competition Everyone's obviously going to go to where it's a lot, lot cheaper. So then maybe these ones that were a little bit more expensive in the first place are going to be driven out and they'll, you know, lose their business and, you know, they'll, ha they'll have to close. Um, but yeah, so basically what I was saying, like, you know, say with my store and things like that. So the, I, I feel and, you know, obviously I hope um, that what will survive will be the, the good good vape shops so the vape shops there that are focused on and this is what i really really focus on you know i try and focus on like very high standard of uh, customer service you know any returns or anything like that you know i i don't try and um, inundate customers with you know tons and tons and tons of juice so you've got like 19 variations of strawberry milkshake i try and find the the better versions the the well-made versions I try and keep my prices competitive. Um, now, I had this gentleman in the other day, and you know he was saying about how he's, he didn't like his juice and there was no flavour. So I was talking about uh, Zeus juice because uh, you know it's a new new product we got in, and you know they are very very flavourful. And they was like, oh yeah, that sounds good. Uh, how much is that? And I told him the price, and oh my god, I I 
swore I could have told him his uh, dog or his cat had died or something like that because he's shock on his face. And then he was just like, oh, I get 100 mils for a fiver. Now, firstly, you know, that, that that's a little bit wrong because um, just in regards to, you know, he's already coming in and he's complaining that he's got no flavour or anything like that in, in his uh, in his tank. But, you know, all, so already, you know, he's, he's willing to sacrifice all that flavour and everything like that for, you know, just, just to make sure that it's as cheap as anything. And that will probably make him just go back to smoking. Uh, which smoking is going to be a hell of a lot more expensive than, you know, what I'm selling my liquids for. I, again, I'm trying to keep mine fair. So, you know, what what I get them in on wholesale price, and you know, I tend to sort of fish from the market and everything like that. I don't like go real under, and I don't go way over. I try and um, you know make my prices fair. Um, but yeah, so you know. He's going to sacrifice all of that. And I also told him that a lot of these, you know, they're going to be manufactured, you know, maybe upstairs, maybe in a bath or anything like that. They're not done in a, you know, in a clean room uh, or anything like that. So, you know, my question to anyone who, who does go out and buy like real cheap juice, this is only to people who buy cheap juice as well. And they don't know where they're buying it from. If you make it a home because, you know, you want to keep your costs low, then yeah, that, that that's good. I mean, Brews Bros, again, they are a D, DIY concentrate uh, brand at first and then they do the short fills as well. Um, you know, that there's loads and loads of people. I have customers come in and, you know, that they DIY and things like that. That, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, shouting on anyone to try and save a bit of money here and there. But um, it's... You know, it's more for so if you if you're coming in and you want to buy your e-liquids uh, from a shop or anything like that, and you know, would you like say walk into a, a a restaurant and the kitchen's like really really dirty or anything like that? No, you wouldn't. Like just because it's cheap, you know, would you? Um, you know, scrimp on all these other like think of other things in your life like your food, like your drink or anything like that. Um, you know, would you scrimp on like the quality and how it was made or anything like that just to save yourself a couple of quid? You know, because these things, you know, they are being vaporized. They're going through our system, you know, so they are, you know, al almost in a way like, you know, like your food and your drink sort of, sort of what thing because that you're breathing it in and out. Now, if a, a guy is there and he's, you don't know who this is and he's just mixing up masses and masses of these juices, you know if he's doing it in his bath does he clean his bath you know does he clean his nails does he you know has he got a cold when he's doing it you know as all these type of things that you know and he's they're touching all the liquid and everything like that you know if, if that's something that really does doesn't bother you then yeah fair enough but you know then you know don't be the same on you know food and you know drink and stuff like that because you know it's it is so you know with something like zeus juice I mean, the fact that I buy it in wholesale more than what he was actually buying his liquids for, you know, screens volumes as well, you know, with uh, with with them, they 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 started off as some something similar to that sort of company, but they built themselves up over reputation and being good liquids, and you know they've really invested into their brand, and you know now now they've got themselves proper clean rooms, you know, you can see how they manufacture it and stuff like that. And um, the same with Phoenix as well. You know, that's one of the reasons why I franchised off them. You know, because when they took me around to see like how they manufactured their e-liquids and how they, uh, you know, was testing everything and stuff like that. You know, I really liked that. You know, it's, it's that being conscious about this industry and you know what we're putting inside our bodies and everything like that. We are all ha trying to harm, you know, reduce and everything like that. Um, you know, so the fact that they were testing all the chemicals and and, and and obviously, yeah, Zeus Juice and all these other quote unquote premium brands, that's what they that's what they're required to do and that's why they are a little bit more expensive. You know, they have a bit more testing, you know, done to them, like with their flavourings and things like that. With someone who's DIYing at home, if you're doing it yourself, that's fair enough. You know, you, you know what you're putting in and everything like that. But if you're buying anything from DIYers and that, do they know what concentrates, where their concentrates are coming from, you know, how are they making it so cheap? Are they making it so cheap because, 
of uh you know the the level of concentrates or the high quality of concentrates they've got coming in so you just be careful and i've just realized i've probably gone on about a five minute rant over uh the price of e-liquids and stuff like that um when i'm talking about vape shops so <laughs> yes um but yeah just bear that in mind and and as i say yeah so uh, I think where I was was the fact that, you know, with um, the, the vape shops that I think will thrive and they will stay will be the ones that will be fair in price. They will be uh, really good at customer service. They're going to try and bring in, you know, a decent amount of um, range and try and keep, you know, up to, you know, the, the sort of latest trends. They're going to cater and and look after as well the the non hobbyist side of vaping as well. You know, there's a lot of focus that goes into my shop. I, I myself am a hobbyist, but, you know, I also, you know, love to see other people just getting off smoking. Um, in my previous video, you know, that some people didn't like with the blue, um, you know, my take on it and my sole take on it is, is that it's a vape product that, you know, and a vape product that, you know, may help uh, the smokers then turn into into vaping and that that is my main concern and that's you know a big focus in my shop um so yeah uh that those sort of uh vape shops and that will will thrive as well um because yeah once you become a, a big time hobbyist as well you are looking online you are trying to search for the latest thing that you know sometimes vape shops can't get in straight away you are looking to save yourself a fiver you know here or there and things like that for, for for different things or maybe even more sometimes um so you know in vape shops yeah okay you do get some hobbyists coming in to get certain things and that but mainly you're sort of catering towards more your everyday vapor someone who's not um overly concerned with um you know the latest trends and stuff like that um right i'm going to stop this video um, I need to look back on it. Um, hopefully I don't have to reshoot this again because I feel like I've probably gone here, there and everywhere. If I do keep this, uh, but, you know, I apologise that if, if this hasn't made any sense, if it is a little bit here, there and everywhere. Um, to summarise, yes, I do think the uh, vape shop boom is coming near to an end. I do think there is going to be a bubble that will burst. You will probably find a few uh, shops that will go. And yeah, that was what I was going to say as well. Support the good vape shop. That's what I would say. You know, try and keep people who have that passion for the business, uh, who are trying to do things right. You know, so don't just switch allegiance to save like maybe two or three quid here or there within a week. You know, that's what the price of a coffee or something like that. You know, uh, and then you could potentially, you know, m remove someone who is a decent shop owner who's trying to do things in the right way and then you keep in business someone who's really just trying to undercut everyone and you know might not be doing it in in the right ways and stuff like that um i don't mean like obviously as well someone who's going to be cheaper is necessarily going to be the bad one i just mean you know look at the the whole sort of um practice you know look at like the way they serve customers um you know what what they bring in uh, how they deliver their customer service what's their return policy like and all that sort of stuff you know um and you know try and you know keep hold of these the, the the good vape shops the vape shops that will put our industry in the right light uh you know and and looking to look after the the smoker stuff like that so yeah again went off a little uh tangent there uh thank you very much for watching everyone if you do like this please give it a thumbs up please give us a comment uh share or anything like that it'll be much appreciated and uh yeah if you're on oh yeah instagram tv um i've yeah they, they've got a new platform um head over follow me on bob vapes on instagram instagram tv uh yeah i'm gonna start doing little videos on there as well now i'm gonna stop goodbye